Hello you beautiful, beautiful people. Today we are jumping into the final season of series 11 and we are completing this week's Fortathon Challenges Lightweight Experts for 160 Fortathon points and 5 points towards our festival playlist. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing, share the video with a friend, smash that like button. Without further ado, let's jump into this week's Fortathon Challenges. Now before we jump in and complete this week's Fortathon challenges, let's jump in and take a look at this week's Fortathon shop. First cut for grabs, the 2019 Bugatti Devo, 500 Fortathon points. Second cut for grabs, the Aston Martin Valhalla Concept, 300 Fortathon points. Vanity items this week, Bird Pattern Sundress and the France Race Gloves, 75 Fortathon points for each of those. And as always, if you've got any spare Fortathon points knocking around, you can grab a normal wheel spin for 60 Fortathon points, or you can grab a super duper wheel spin for 150 Fortathon points. Now these cars are both available at the Auto Show. The Valhalla is 1.15 million credits, and the Bugatti is 3 million credits. I personally am saving the points this week. I'd rather pick these cars up at the Auto Show or check out the auction house try and grab yourself a bargain. Now we will be coming back to the festival players at the end of the video to check out all the rewards available but first we'll jump in and get this week's Fortathon challenges lightweight experts completed. We do need to do the chapters in order so we're kicking things off with chapter one for the drivers. Own and drive the 2012 Lotus Exige S which delivers significantly a faster acceleration and a much higher top speed than the base Exige. And this is the absolute machine that we are going to be piloting this week. The 2012 Lotus Exige S can be picked up from the auto show for 85,000 credits. As always, every week I do have a tune available if you guys would like to use it. Just search my gamertag tag Skippy4631 or use the share code that's in the description and in the comments below. But own and drive then, hop outside any festival site or player house. Once you are in free roam, drive two seconds down the road before the drivers complete. So with chapter one out the way, it is on to chapter two, Lotus Champion. Lotus has a famous motorsport history from F1 to the Lotus Cup. Honor this legacy by winning a road race in the 2012 Lotus Exige S. So for this chapter, we need to win a road racing event. Go ahead and filter your map, just to make it a little bit easier to see and find. And I'm gonna be heading to Moulay. I'm gonna be using the Arch of Moulay circuit. Where, as always, I have a cheeky blueprint for you guys to use if you wish, called Forzathon Chapter 2. Just search my game tag Skippy4631 or use the share code 719-693-658. Now, for those of you that don't know, the driver type difficulty does not affect the races for the weekly of Forzathon challenges. As we do need to win, there's no reason to make it any harder than it needs to be. I'm going to go novice. Here we go then in the Lotus. This race is a one lap wonder and it is locked to the Lotus Exige S, no other car can be picked. And all we've got to do is get to the finish line before the driver cars. As we round the final corner onto the final straight, the Exige has been an absolute joy to drive as across the line, first place. So with chapter two completed, it is on to chapter three, all speed ahead. Put the supercharged 3.5 litre V6 engine to the test by earning 15 speed skills in the 2012 Lotus Exige S. Now speed skills can be obtained absolutely anywhere within the free roam map. They can even be obtained during races if you're feeling lucky. But to make this super easy, I'm just going to cruise up and down the motorway that runs through the centre of the map. Here we go then, 15 speed skills in our Lotus Exige S. All you've got to do is get to about 150 or more and just cruise. Earning those speed skills, great speed skills, awesome speed skills, and ultimate speed skills all count towards this chapter, so don't worry about that. I'm just going to sit fifth gear, full throttle, all the way down the motorway, earning those speed skills. And after a couple of minutes of sitting at 185 miles an hour, we earn the 15 speed skills we need for the full speed ahead complete. So chapter 3 done, it is on to our fourth and final chapter, Limitless. Lotus founder Colin Chapman states, subtracting weight makes you faster everywhere. Put this theory to the test by earning six stars at speed traps in the 2012 Lotus Exige S. So for this chapter, we are going to need to filter our map by speed traps, just to make it a little bit easier to see and find. Any speed trap will do, any combination 
of speed traps will do. But I'm going to run the Loss Our Bowls for a three star objective of just 140 miles an hour. Here we go then, six stars in total from speed traps. Hopefully, we can get the three star objective in the Lotus. We are running downhill towards the camera. Full speed, full send through the camera. 159 miles an hour. That is three stars. One more run. And that is this week's Four Storm Challenges complete. And as we head through the camera on our final run, we hit 160 miles an hour, which is our final three stars for this chapter. Finishing off chapter four and this week's Four Storm Challenges Lightweight Experts, giving us 160 Four Storm Points in the bank and five points towards our Spring Hot Season Festival playlist. And let's take a quick look and a quick run through all of the rewards available for the Spring season this week 63 points up for grabs in total we've got the xpang p7 brand new car to the forza franchise and to forza horizon 5 for 20 points and a returning car from forza horizon 4 for 40 points the bmw e92 m3 gts i know a lot of people are more excited about the m3 gts than they are the xpang p7 this week's online trial stock showdown, we're going to be driving the Megane RS for a tasty reward of the Honda Civic Coupe. Unfortunately, Seasonal Playground Games rears its ugly head, focusing on Team King, giving out a reward of the Rally Fighter. Three PR stunts to go and unlock, one Land Rover Defender 2020, one Lotus Exige S, and a Super Bowl spin up for grabs. Plenty of racing this week with three season championships on the playlist. Paving the way, giving up the Porsche Cayman. Off the road again, giving up the Maserati Levante. And finally, newcomers, giving up the BMW M5 2018. Challenges for the spring season. One photo challenge, new car smell, giving up the Watermelon Crew socks. And we've got a collectible challenge. Not seen one of these on the playlist for a little while, called Strike Gold, giving up the Formula Drift 599. And for you show-offs that have the Hot Wheels DLC, we've got a Danger Sign Canyon Fire, giving out one Super Bowl spin. And we've got a Seasonal Championship Warp Speed, giving out the Renault Clio 2013. But there we go, that's this week's Forza Horizon Shop, this week's Forza Horizon Challenges, and this week's Festival Playlist Rewards. There is plenty to be unlocked this week, plenty to be getting on with. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the weekly Forza Horizon Challenges or the Festival Playlist, do hit me up in the comments, I always do my best. To help you guys out so if you are new around here definitely consider subscribing we will be completing the rest of the festival players live here on the channel in the next couple of days don't forget to share the video with a friend smash that like button stay safe guys and have an awesome day